What up, y'all? Today, I'm going to be eating what I consider is the worst sounding, least appetizing, but best tasting sushi. And that is eel sushi, which I have right in front of me here. Uh, eels, you know, they're strange. They're slippery, slimy serpents, man. They're like sea snakes. I don't know, man. I don't really mess with them too much. You don't want to lock eyes with one. Trust me on that, man. Don't repeat my mistake. I'm telling you right now. But uh, yeah, they make a good food. They make a good sushi. This is probably like my top five, maybe my top three or even two sushis. And when I'm talking about sushi, I'm talking about this style of sushi, like nigiri. I think basically the rice with a piece of fish on top. Also, when I'm talking about the eels, I'm talking about freshwater eels. I don't know nothing about the, the saltwater ones, the ocean mores, you know. But uh, yeah, I've had this for the first time about two years ago, um, probably something like that. And it kind of like it put me off just the name of it. But when I tried, it, I'm like, damn, that's a lot better than I thought it would be. So I, I haven't had them though. I don't eat sushi that much to be honest with you. But like I said, definitely top five, possibly top three, maybe even top two, salmon, tuna, and this are right up here. Uh, but one difference between those, like salmon, sushi, and tuna sushi, what I believe is these are cooked. It's a cooked piece of eel. And I think it's glazed with something. I don't know if it's marinated, but, um, and deboned. You know, I don't really know the process of it, but it's definitely not just a raw piece of fish sitting on top of a, of a piece of rice, you know. It does have flavor and the texture isn't that kind of raw fish texture that you might associate with, with sushi. You can also see that it has a little piece of seaweed wrapped around it, so it gives it some structural integrity. That's one of my pet peeves about other sushi, man. It, it's hard to handle, especially if you're not good with some sticks. But yeah, this is, is some good stuff right here. Hopefully this is a good batch. I've never had this place that just was highly rated. And um, I got eight pieces, a little eight piece set for about 17.50. So not too bad there. Oh, they also threw in this little green tea, which, you know, I'll take that. But uh, let me go ahead and just eat one of these pieces right here. Just go with this one on the side. Hopefully, I feel like this is, it's very shiny. Uh, it's got a nice sheen to it, I would say. But let's just go in for a bite. Mm. See, that's good, man. That is good. I'm telling you. Top. One of the top sushis. And I'll tell you why. Um, why? <laughs> I think for me, uh, I, you know, I didn't grow up eating raw food growing up. Um, so, you know, I'm used to the texture of something that's cooked and this has that, I think it's grilled and then like slathered. I'm not really sure. Some people probably know better than me. I think this is eaten a lot in like Japan and in Korea. So you're getting a lot of flavor. Like it's no weird, it's not a weird texture. I feel like, and when you're getting the, uh, with the sauce on it too, and it's cooked it in parts like a, you know, it's, you're not getting a raw flavor. So it's not rubber or anything. I mean, I bet you, if you gave this to somebody blindfolded and told him it was like, just some kind of like Asian glaze, sauce glazed, like Asian inspired sauce, glazed fish, grilled. God, that was a bad sentence. But yeah, uh, I feel like they, and you didn't tell them what it was and just said it was like some, I don't know, like some kind of freshwater fish that they liked. They would like it if you don't tell them the truth. There's nothing eely about it. This one, um, this one's a little bit weird. This one is weird to me. This one's weirding me out a little bit with this little, I feel like it's the a fin, dude. What is that? I don't know. I'll, should I try I'll try this one right now. Just fine. Just fine. So I feel like for those people who, um, well, I don't know. If you can trick somebody into eating one of these without telling them what it is, 
then uh, I think they would like it. You probably wouldn't be able to do that though. I don't know exactly how to describe the sauce. You know, I don't, I realized I don't even have any like soy sauce or anything. I should have probably prepared that along with some like wasabi maybe, but um, you don't really need it to be honest. The sauce, the glaze is a little bit, a little bit sweet. This is not the best one I've had, to be honest. I've definitely had butter. I feel like this one is a little bit too sweet for me. Um, I feel like I've had ones that you have a good mix between, you know, all the, all the different flavors. But yeah, this one, the main flavor is sweetness, I feel like. Which, that is one thing I heard, that um, someone told me that they had this in some other country. It wasn't Japan, it wasn't Korea. They said it wasn't good, to be honest with you. So this was supposed to be kind of a video to maybe introduce y'all to a, a new sushi. Uh, and you know, maybe y'all already know about it. But I would say if you don't know about it and you're curious about it, um, be careful because I don't know you gotta you know maybe look up some reviews because maybe it could be hit or miss maybe they're using different eels or different techniques or something mm. but definitely man like if you're ever over um, in Korea or Japan or whatever definitely worth a try it's one of those foods that, like i said you just you would really kind of turn uh turn your nose to it and not even give it a second thought but if when you try it you're like oh man there's some merit to that now i gotta be honest i probably couldn't even name 10 different kinds of nigiri sushi that I like. I always end up going back to the same ones. So this being in my top five maybe isn't the biggest deal, but it's definitely, uh, it's on my good list. There's some that you I tried that once, I'm like, yeah, I probably don't have, gotta eat that again. So uh, it's this is one that I go back to. It's always good to switch it up a little bit. Um, usually, yeah, it's probably, it probably goes, you know, it probably goes salmon, then tuna, and then this, and another one I like is uh, if they do it right, is like beef like they have that over here uh just like kind of uh thinly sliced beef on top of sushi and it's cooked i like that one as well but yeah uh that's about it for today though guys you know maybe go out and try it but again be be wary be cautious because you never know what they're serving really man i remember one time i was working that man i don't i don't want to really expose nobody but i saw this one restaurant back like 10 years ago when i was working uh at at the local Best Buy, and there was a Chinese spot right next to it. And I know, like, man, this, I, I probably got, I might have to cut this out, but, man, they were, like, washing the, they got a shipment of fish, and they were washing it, and, uh, in the sewer, like, on the street. And I think one slithered away, one flopped away, it was flopping, they grabbed it, put it, threw it back, and just took it in the store. Uh, like right, it was like flopping on the on the curb, you know, right on the the sewer grate. And <clears throat> you know, I'm not saying anything about Chinese restaurants. I love Chinese restaurants. That place was the spot, man, because you could go and I don't I didn't even know places did this, but you go in, they had the buffet at lunch, and you, they basically charge you by weight. So you put in a little styrofoam container, put whatever you want in it. And I was broke at the time, so you know I would just get like three bucks worth of food sometimes, and and have a nice little Chinese little little dinner uh, yeah so I, I love that place but I saw him handle that fish and I'm like you know what it's not even about the restaurant it's about the fish man they're sneaky anyway guys that's about it I, I gotta skate out of here real quick before anything else crazy happens so I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching I'll catch you in the next video peace